archaeologists study past people and cultures based on the materials they've left behind. Sometimes that material is underwater. Underwater archaeology is just like archaeology on land. Archaeologists must carefully excavate archaeological sites to recover artifacts, document features, and start putting together the puzzle of the past. The most important difference between archaeology on land and archaeology underwater is the environment. Since humans aren't built to breathe underwater, archaeologists must use scuba equipment. The air, contained in scuba tanks, made up of nitrogen and oxygen, allows archaeologists to breathe underwater for a short period of time. Some of the tools that underwater archaeologists use are different too. Since it's awfully hard to excavate with a shovel and trowel underwater, archaeologists instead use induction dredges or airlifts. These essentially act like underwater vacuums to remove sand and other sediments on top of archaeological sites like shipwrecks. Just like on land, however, recording detailed notes and creating maps is critical for preserving as much information about the past as possible. Archaeology, no matter where it is taking place, is a destructive science. When archaeologists excavate, they are irreparably changing the site they work on. That's why it takes years of training and well-developed skills in record keeping to make sure excavation is done right. With the second longest coastline in the United States, Florida's underwater archaeologists have plenty of work to do. Next time you look out at the water, think about the important role that oceans, rivers, and bays have played throughout our history.